Welcome everybody and thanks for choosing another Aqua Polaris. This one is gonna be real challenge because we're gonna incorporate resistance ankle calves and every single time we got those on our ankles, the workout is taking to the next level. All right, my friends. So as you could see at the beginning, this is only part of the full workout. Full workout is 90 minutes and this one is around 30. This is part two of three. Part one included a warm up. So at this point, I believe you are properly prepared for this routine. And we're gonna continue with only few standing exercises. And later I will take you through some amazing wall exercises. We still use those cuffs and this is the only piece of equipment you need for a successful workout today. Yes, and it's Pilates. So we're gonna focus on range of motion, proper execution of each movement, our breathing. You also wanna think about what you're doing. So every single exercise, every single repetition is the best you can do today and it's just gonna get better and better there's gonna be one more part added to youtube channel and this is gonna be more of stretch and water yoga so don't miss this one as well if you are new on my channel please hit that subscribe and also notification bell so you will get notified of when those missing parts are coming now, if you want to do the full length 90 minute workout now, you have to subscribe to On Demand Aqua Workouts. Links are everywhere and they will pop on the screen again and again. Are you ready? I'm so excited to share these with you. Let's go. My friends, drop your feet down. It's time for torso rotation. You're gonna put your palms together, open up your legs, and now drag your palms to the opposite side, rotating through your knees. So once you rotate your arms to your left, you're gonna lift up your right heel and you're gonna follow that knee. You see how my knees are facing either right or left side? <laughs> Make sure you match me there. Now also, I want you to quickly look at the surface of the water. This exercise is not only good, it's beautiful. Look at this pattern on the surface. And I want you to try copy my moves yourself. If you feel those deep core muscles, you're doing it right. Okay, well, moving on, we're gonna now alternate arms, right and then left. By doing so, we're gonna challenge a little different muscle fibers but I would say the same muscle group will be busy 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 and as you know me I'm super creative so stay close because we're gonna switch that quickly <laughs> make sure you exhale with challenge now I want you to dip your hand your arm a little deeper Scoop it, scoop it like it's your favorite ice creams. By the way, I'm very curious, which ice cream flavor is your favorite? For me, passion fruit. I absolutely love this fruit and I take it in an ice cream without blinking an eye. All right, put your palms together and repeat version one two or three whichever you enjoy the most just make sure you feel the water is making all of those moves more challenging not easier yes that's what water pilates is about i'm sorry if you thought otherwise <laughs> it's gonna make only few positions easier but every single exercise is challenge Lunge position, my friend, and diamonds, again, this time arms. We're also going to incorporate some leg moves, okay? So stay tuned. Let's get you started with arms. 
you're gonna drag them forward out and then behind and when you complete eight kick your legs forward and backwards drop down switch leg and continue drag your arms to the side forward to the side back all of this eight times stay nice and tall lift up your chest core is engaged and kick your legs forward switch your leg position when you drop your feet down you got it i'm gonna turn sideways guys to show you how everything should be done i know you can copy this and i know you can do even better so let's enjoy it don't forget to alternate those legs i'm watching you because we are moving to the next segment guys this time we're gonna take a step to the side and lunge and then we're gonna add knee up okay same leg now please notice that the water level here is a little bit too deep so what I'm gonna do and you're gonna see actually two underwater footages one where I'm gonna do the actual lunge where I go to the side I come back and I lift up right knee and the other one which I want to do in this pool it's the floating lunge so 
gonna just take it to the side, come back, and I switch leg, knee up. So there are two options depending on which water level you are at, okay? Because I know that many of you will deal with the same issue and sometimes have no other option but do Pilates. You wanna do Pilates, but you don't have the right pool, okay? Or right water level, I would say. So in that case, you have to choose between those two options. One and two. Three and four. On the other hand, if you are lucky to have a pool where you can switch water levels, then I would probably start this routine on the waist water level and then slowly progress to do those floating exercises a little bit deeper. Okay? Hey, lucky you. Just a couple more. Here's the lunch. It's really hard to come back, right? And so this is where I'm showing you the same exercise on a better water level. It's side lunge. We're shifting by the way back toward heel. Then we push ourselves back to starting point. And you really have two options. If you want, you can do lunge to your right and lift up the other knee or eventually you can lift up your right knee. So you got lunge and knee. I'm gonna show you all of those versions and this is really how you progress. So if you just started your journey with either water exercises or Pilates, you can choose the easier version. Or you see this one, I'm lunging to the side and I pull that same knee up. Ooh, this is really great for core. So choose whichever works for you but remember the ideal water level if you can it's going to be waist to chest if you happen to land in a water environment <laughs> deeper than that you can still do a little bit of it you're just gonna take a little bit less of it i'm sorry to break it to you <laughs> Any arm moves will work, okay? We don't use any particular equipment with this routine, but if you're curious how to incorporate aqua weights or noodles into Pilates, there is something like this available for you. There's at least four Pilates versions and all of those are amazing. So make sure you take opportunity to and give them a try. Look another variation. Here you have the lunge with leg lift forward. Okay, this one is quite a challenge. It's again another progression. I 
and all the tension's gone now And that you won't stay here Keep looking back, don't wanna forget ya Yeah, I wanna do it all again So I keep pushing it wide All right, now we're gonna transition from here. Let's do lunge, come back, and then side lift, side to side. Oh, we, now we are taking a good advantage and a good use of those resistance ankle calves, right? Finally. As a subscriber of on demand aqua workouts you guys have a couple different pilates in a water routines and you're gonna see that some of the exercises where we use double noodle or gloves more options and better water level well here i am showing you these versions so friends lunge to your left lift up the opposite knee up on your exhale any arm moves will do so you can do the lat pull down that i'm presenting right now but if you just want to open and close your arms that's fine most importantly you stay nice and tall remember chest up belly in looking amazing feeling amazing don't you appreciate your body when you can do all of those moves I know we take everything for granted and we complain when we have those off days sometimes off weeks or months but let's be honest if we can do all of this today we are already pretty lucky but I would say luckier than so many people this keeps your body strong and healthy preventing from injuries or it's helping you to get back to normal after injury happened <laughs> watch me show you this another option where we are lunging to the left and lifting left knee up right away now your upper body is pretty busy right it also allows you to move faster so yes you're gonna move your hard way up and you can definitely reach to the point where this one is not only great balance exercise but also good cardio my friends yes pilates can get pretty intensive sometimes just check on yourself if your lips are still open maybe it's a big smile or maybe you are breathing right <laughs> side lunge happening again with front leg lift and you can also drag your arms forward with lunge and then behind with your lift give it a try please i know you're gonna like it i want you guys to be really open-minded for all of those new transitions and flip those exercises around okay every time you do this routine it may be a tiny bit different this way you're not gonna get bored with me i truly hope so will continue enjoy it enjoy it complete and i will think what else we can do together okay <laughs> okay and that second version of side lunge and the same leg lift forward love it
knowing these are final wraps lift up this leg all up for me i like it one more please and i'll show you other great exercises are you ready frog jumps and floating chair with legs out and in oh boy so set up your feet in a turnout position much wider than for diamond jumps on your exhale tuck your knees out and up pressing your palms down then tuck your knees up open and close in a floating position almost like you are floating on a chair but you're not so you gotta keep your arms pretty busy diamond jumps floating chair with legs out and in pretty straightforward give it a try see how this goes definitely go slowly first and then eventually blend those two together into a fun segment yes it can also move your heart rate up for sure don't allow those ankle calves to float too much so you ended up laying on your back on the water again you should look like you are sitting on the chair maybe on the recliner but definitely not laying down on your back watch me showing you everything one more time from the side angle and then practice on your own we have time to make it perfect All right, so can I ask for your best and favorite? Because it's almost done. Yes, 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 looking good, looking great. And that was the final repetition. So let's now move to part two, wall Pilates in the water. Firstly, knee curls to the side. So you're gonna place one hand on the side of the pool. Your body is in line in the angled position. As you exhale, you're gonna tuck your knees up and to the side, and then you're gonna drag your hand behind. Real challenge. Practice a little bit with just one leg and then eventually do it with both. You are working your deep core muscles, but you're also challenging obliques and lower part of abs. Great stuff, my friends much much better than any crunches boring and uncomfortable on the mat if you really want to work your abs effectively this must be on your list and as before we got time to practice so endure every bit of it i will let you know when it's time to switch side because obviously you should keep track on how many moves you do on one side and then repeat the exact same on the other side. Remember about your breathing. Notice here you have other option with both hands on a wall. You can definitely try this one for start. Eventually, if the one free hand can do something else, you're probably gonna enjoy it so much more and it's also easier to keep the body in line. All right, 
here you had that second version it looks pretty cool and I promise it's actually even better when you do it yourself so let's do it all right that's a moment where we switch don't start until you know your position is excellent your body in line you're ready to exhale choose level one or two by that i mean one hand or both hands support and remember you're either doing it great or i need you to stop and take a water break and then join me when you are ready to do your best we don't want those lazy repetitions we don't care for those it must be perfection with the best range of motion i know you can do it i've seen you doing that before final few repetitions so let's breathe even better fully exhale loud enough that you can hear it it almost sounds weird sometimes but don't worry about it this is your time so focus on doing best you can today final repetition and drop your feet down jog it out a little bit relax alternate knee curls into the wall oh boy it is the same water plank position toes are touching the bottom of the pool when you exhale you curl your knee up and forward as close toward your chest as you possibly can as you inhale push your toe back and down okay so you have that starting point for your toes this is your home this is where your toes are supposed to come back every single time water level at your waist would probably give you option to have a little better angle so if you have option to do it absolutely explore those versions deep water level will not give you enough challenge i just know that and mountain climbers this time you can be floating or touch down the difference from knee curls is that you now jump over so notice there's a second where your feet are not touching the bottom here's the floating version where your feet are not touching the bottom at all give me eight of each and alternate or eventually choose the one that you are doing best control your breath possibly you want to exhale every second or every third move if your lips is closed you're not doing it right i want you to stop and reconsider this is also great for glutes and hamstrings and definitely core muscles yes yeah? so everything attached to your pelvic supporting your spine good stuff my friends final moves and watch because we're gonna move on mountain climbers are still happening touching down toes every single time now eventually you're gonna add leg extension back and then you're gonna switch legs resume mountain climbers one two three four five six seven extend your leg back switch leg kind of like you did scissors and drag your knee forward resume mountain climbers so we do seven because with odd numbers we're always gonna end it up on the other side now do it in your own tempo and do the best you can i'll be right back with you
For those of you who love options, another one, mountain climbers plus diamond jumps. So now you're gonna do eight mountain climbers and this is still negotiable, you can do 12 and then beautiful diamond jump. Can we do it? Watch again. Here we have mountain climbers dragging those knees toward the wall, toward the chest, and here we have diamond jump. You can do one, you can do two or three. I'm gonna leave that to you. As long as you are doing your absolutely best. Please make sure you keep both hands on the side of the pool. This is what's gonna keep your body more stable and will allow you to really enjoy great range of motion. Mountain climbers can be floating like you see now without touching the bottom of the pool at all. This version is a little more tricky. You will need really strong core muscles to keep your posture in the same setup, in the same lineup. Once you're gonna notice your hips drift, to the outside, you probably want to get back to touchdown version that you show that you see me showing right now. Okay, so floating is your progression, and it is super important, my friends, that you choose progression, more advanced version, only when you see your body is ready for it, not when you see that this is more attractive, or maybe your friends are already there. You need to take your time and master that easier options before you jump into the next one. Or you're gonna end it up with poor form forever because our body gets used to this stuff so quickly and that would be a shame right now. We are almost done. If you like these, you can always pause it or next time choose your favorite variation of mountain climbers and stick to it. <laughs> yeah, you eventually gonna learn all of this by heart. All right, my friends, side position, one arm support and more mountain climbers plus the same diamond jumps. But this is different, right? Again, choose floating version or touch down, whichever you are better at. This one is more tricky. Look how I struggle. And don't feel bad if you struggle, guys, because this is really challenging. Of course, we'll have to switch side and give our body the same number of reps on the other side. We are almost wrapping up those mountain climbers exercises okay but i need few more out of you can you give it to me come on this is your last one and your best one you're smiling right <laughs> okay so i have one more mountain climbers and my friends split and if you want me to be honest this is my absolutely favorite one plus we can add one more transition which you'll see that probably would be my best best but love mountain climbers with split great one for core and also great for inner thighs and out thighs I'm gonna choose the floating version where I'm not touching the bottom. Oop, here is split. Open up those arms and, excuse me, open up your legs as much as possible. Good stuff, guys. Great dynamic flexibility improvement. Watch this. Here's your V on the wall with rollover. Is that a real challenge or what? Look, mountain climbers, floating or not split to the side and we're gonna add that V on a wall in a moment just want to show you everything from the side angle so you can position yourself and do it right as well if necessary press pause watch it first and then we'll do it okay couple more we're gonna add that transition shortly, I promise.
None of these exercises are possible without ankle cuffs. Notice that I switched to the heavy ones, real challenge. When you are holding the wall, um, you probably can handle bigger ankle cuffs. With standing exercises, they can be very tricky, especially when we are floating. So wall exercises, I usually use heavy ones. Here we have again V on a wall and roll over. Awesome. Now floating, you're gonna resume your mountain climbers. Eight or 10, you already know this is all negotiable. Split and here we have V on a wall, roll over. Is that pretty cool? <laughs> all right, we guys gonna do it together now. Mountain climbers plus split and roll over. This is your turn, my friends. Can you do it? You can definitely take your time first and practice all of those separately before you put everything together. Are you still smiling? <laughs> You're probably thinking, hey, how can I do all of this and still smile? I promise you will one day. One day all of those moves will be a warm up. All right, my friends, I truly did my best to keep this video shorter for those of you who got to run. But it went a little bit over 30 minutes, as I promise. I hope you don't mind. Now, on the other hand, for those of you who got full 90 minutes for such a routine, please subscribe to On Demand Aqua Workouts. You can see this link on the screen. I hope you're gonna Google it. I hope you're gonna find me and I hope we're gonna do this all together. Plus, you're gonna have unlimited access to over 50 of my best and favorite routines. I'm gonna guide you every step of the way. You're gonna have options to try Pilates, water yoga, high or low intensity workouts, something for newbies and someone, something for advanced aquaholics, how I call you. You guys gonna be shocked how much stuff we can do via online routines. Are you ready for it? I hope you are. Check this out for sure and I will see you on the other side. Bye now. Hey, don't forget to check that part three. It's mostly gonna be yoga and stretch, but you like that, right? Woohoo!